parallel routes in Next.js. It's a bit of a more advanced routing technique, but it definitely can come in handy. And I'm going to try to make this as kind of straightforward as possible. There's definitely more to know regarding parallel routes that I'm not going to cover here. I will link the docs here on parallel routes to where you can read a lot more about it and kind of see some different examples and where you might use this. So I definitely recommend checking that out here, but I'm going to just kind of show you the fundamentals of how they work and an example of when you might use them. So for parallel routes, it's going to be a case where you want to render multiple pages under the same route segment or within the same layout. So let's look at the code and actually see what this looks like. So let's say we have a case to where we have different user roles and depending on that role, we want to render different pages to the user. Well, here, if you look at my file structure within my app directory, I have a dashboard folder. And within that dashboard folder, I have a dashboard layout, which you can see here. And then I have a dashboard page, which you can also see here. And then if I come back to the browser here and I click go to dashboard, this is what you see when going to my dashboard page. A very straightforward, simple kind of demo dashboard page. Now, you've probably already seen it, but within the dashboard, we have two different folders and we prefix those folders with an at symbol. And that's kind of your indicator to a parallel route. So at admin and at user here are two different parallel routes. And in our example, we're gonna conditionally render one of these pages within the dashboard route segment depending on the user role. Now, a key thing to know here is that when you add a folder within a route segment with an at symbol like so, it is then going to give you the ability to render that page or not within the parent layout. The way that it does this is if we go to my layout within my dashboard folder here, so this layout would be the parent layout to at admin as well as at user within this layout you're going to see that next.js will automatically pass the page within my parallel routes here my prefixed at symbol routes here it will automatically pass those pages to this dashboard layout because it is the parent layout to at admin and at dashboard and then here within my layout i automatically just destructure user and admin within my dashboard layout because Next.js is effectively going to pass that as a prop to the dashboard layout. And the name of the property is going to match the name of your folder. So if I called this at general user, then I would need to destructure. Maybe it was just general user. But since I called it just user, I'm going to destructure user. And then within my dashboard layout, one example of using parallel routes is I could conditionally render either the user or admin page, the page within my admin folder, which is basically just a little panel that says admin panel, manage users and settings, or I could conditionally render my user page, which says user dashboard, view your profile and stats. And our logic currently is if the user role is admin, then render the admin page, else render the user page. If we go back to my dashboard, you see user dashboard, view your profile and stats. And that's because my user role here is just user. If I switch this to admin, it's then going to render my admin page and it's going to say admin panel, manage users and settings. By using this at symbol here, you're basically telling Next.js, okay, I want you to pass effectively the page component to the parent layout so you can render both of these pages or just one of them, conditionally render them, within the parent layout itself. So here, we're rendering the children here, which is going to be the root page within my dashboard. So if I comment children out here, what you're going to see is that the contents of this dashboard page, welcome to dashboard, will be removed. So we have welcome to dashboard here. 
but in my layout, if I don't destructure children and I don't render that out here, so say I just comment that out, you see that disappears. So in an example of a parallel route, if you also, like within our dashboard page, like what we have here, if you also want to make sure to render a root page, then you need to make sure in this layout to also render out the children like so. And then we're going to see that come back. Welcome to dashboard. And then since we created at admin and at user within my dashboard route segment, those are going to be passed as props, user and admin to our dashboard layout, which is the parent layout to at admin and at user. And then we could either render them both or conditionally render them. In this example, we conditionally render them, but we could also, if you had a use case for it, you could just render them both. We'll render out user and I'll render out admin. And we come back and we see both of them rendered to the page. So this basically allows you to where if you want to render multiple pages within the same layout, you can do so by adding these parallel routes. And you do that by prefixing a folder name with the add sign. And then that page within that folder is automatically going to be passed to the parent layout as a prop. And then you can determine how you want to render that page. Now, as I alluded to, of course, there are more things that you can do with this. If you go to the example section within the Next.js docs, I showed you conditional routes, but you can also do different things like tab groups, or you can do some interesting things with modals to where parallel routes can be used together with intercepting routes to create modals that support deep linking. I'll cover intercepting routes here in an upcoming video, but just know there's some other cool stuff that you can do here. And you can also do some cool stuff with like loading an error UI to where if we wanted to in our demo application here, I could customize for admins a different loading experience than I have for users. So say for admins, I wanted to show them like an admin dashboard and users, a user dashboard. Well, I could add a loading.jsx file within admin and a separate loading.jsx file within my user or at user folder. And then that's a nice way to kind of customize a loading and you could do the same thing with errors, a loading and error experience for these kind of two different parallel routes that we still want to render when the user goes to forward slash dashboard. So it gives you a lot of flexibility in rendering different pages within the same kind of route path or within the same route segment layout, as well as loading and errors and all that sort of thing. So just to recap here, parallel routes, they are useful for when you want to render maybe multiple pages within the same route segment or within the same layout. And you do this by adding an at prefix in front of the name of your folder. And then when you do that, Next.js is automatically going to pass to your parent layout of your at prefixed folders. It's automatically going to pass a prop that matches the name of that folder. So in our case, at admin, we're going to destructure the admin property from the parent layout here. So at admin, at user, this is the parent layout to these parallel routes. And then we can render those within the same layout here. So we can use the same layout for multiple pages. And then, like I said, we could also conditionally render these, or we could add custom loading and error UI for both admins and users. And of course, it doesn't have to be when just handling user roles. You could use this for a bunch of different stuff. But hopefully this makes it more clear on what parallel routes are in Next.js, when you might use them, and kind of how they work. I definitely think this is one to where if you haven't run into an issue in an application where you need this functionality, it can be hard to kind of like, I guess, abstractly think about when using this. But I think maybe most importantly, it's important to understand that this is functionality that exists in XJS and they provide a kind of a nice way to handle parallel routes. And if you find yourself wanting to maybe render multiple pages within the same route or maybe conditionally rendering different pages within the same route or within the same layout or render different loading UIs for different pages within the same layout, this is where you might use parallel routes.
So hopefully this was clear. Let me know if you have any questions. I definitely recommend checking out the next JS docs for some more reading on this if you really want to gain a really good understanding of it. But hopefully this gave you kind of a fairly simplified version of what parallel routes are, how they work, and when you might use them. So hopefully this helped. Thanks for tuning into this and I'll see you in that next one.